Well, here we have the Reaper, uh, uh, specifically designed for the two-wheel uh, tractor, or what we call the smart tractor. And it's meant to attach at the front end of the tractor. Uh, it basically consists of a, a cutting head assembly and a frame which attaches it to the front of the tractor. It also has a provision <coughs> for lifting or lowering. If you want to transport it to the field, you would uh, lift it up. And then, apart from that, it has two other positions. Position one would mean you are cutting the grain way above the ground. And then there is another position over there, which means you cut the grain way at the bottom of the, of the ground. Okay, those are the two adjustments, which are effected through a cable and some lift mechanism. The reaper assembly consists of uh, fingers that will lift the grain from the ground and also guide the standing grain towards the cutters, which are over there. And then we have the star fingers that will direct it towards the transporters. We have two sets of transporters, which are chain driven through the gearbox and it will convey the crop 90 degrees to the right all the way to the other end where it is left lying on the ground in a nice straight line so that's the process of uh, lifting cutting and conveying to the sides right at uh, this side we have the the the, the, the reaper is actually powered from the engine the tractor engine through the v-belts we have one single belt that goes to the gearbox and the gearbox will drive the transporters which are chain driven and at the same time it will drive the crank that will drive the cutting knives so both the cutting knives and the transporters are driven from the same gearbox right the correct way to mount the reaper at the front of the tractor is first to remove the towing uh, clamp which is normally fixed at the front of the tractor to create space to fix the clamp that holds the reaper assembly in place once you do that you need to loosen the four bolts holding the engine push the engine a little bit behind to create space for the clamp and then you fix it and then on the clamp we have the two parallel arms on either side which uh, fixes onto the two clamps on either side of the reaper assembly and you can fix that using pins and that will hold the reaper assembly in place from there of course you will need to uh, fix the belts the drive belts as i said the the, the the reaper is driven from the engine flywheel so normally if the engine already had the four belts you need to remove two of them in order to create space for the the belt that drives the gearbox of the reaper <coughs> so once you do that you can fix a belt normally it only uses one belt it has a tensioner if you use the right uh, belt size you will not need to adjust the tension it, it will use the belt tensioner to adjust it and uh, then you will need to hook the cable that goes over for adjusting the various positions for transport and cutting the crop 